What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Nikki here and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about a stock that I bought 25 shares in and to be honest with you It's quite a spec play and I've also probably lost my mind, but you already know the drill. Let's get it Ooh, big bad. You're not talking money. You can miss me with the chit chat. I'm not with the rah rah or the all right, you guys, so you already know that my Robinhood portfolio, and yes, do not get me started, don't get me started on the whole Robinhood debacle. But if you've been here a while, you know I recently opened a Robin, a new, a brand new Robinhood account after transferring to E-Trade just for growth stocks and stocks that I plan on holding for a minimum of three to five years. And then I will go ahead and reevaluate my positions at that point. If I lose all my money, then you know what? Sayonara, hopefully that never happens, but it is a risk we really are all taking when we invest in the stock market. And I have made a couple videos, specifically two videos, telling you guys about companies and stocks that I purchased and added to this portfolio. And I will go ahead and link those down in the first comment below in case you wanna check it out after this video. But you guys, I bought 25 shares of this EV stock that really honestly, truly I've lost my mind because there's really no reason to invest into it right now. They're not profitable. There's really no products coming out. <laughs> It's just an idea with a little bit of progress and I'll get to that in a second. I do believe though that this stock could potentially in the next 10 or so years, honestly probably be pretty decent as long as they make it to the next 10 years. Maybe some of you own it and then I won't feel like a complete dipshit, but until then I kind of do. I really just wanted to be like, let's get into it boys because like all of you are guys, but then I realized, you know, there's some ladies, there's some fresh ladies that watch my stuff. So you know what, ladies and gents, let's get it. All right y'all, so that stock is going to be solo okay s-o-l-o -O ticker for i don't even want to try to say this electromechacania vehicle <sighs> What did I just say? Ooh. All right, you guys, so you can see today they're down about half a percent, a few pennies, but let's check out the last year. They're up about 273%. Last five years, they're up about 21%. That chart looks silly to me. It looked real silly. I honestly don't like it, but this is a speculative growth focused portfolio, so I'm okay with it. And I'd scroll down and show you more, but there's really not a lot to see. I'm up like $2 and that's really it. So like, yeah, not much to see here, but let me explain something to you. I wanna make something very, very clear. If you've been here a while, you know I am a dividend lover. My main E-Trade portfolio is my long-term dividend investing portfolio that I adore and I just can't get enough of it. But I do have this portfolio to kind of play around a little, you know, maybe get a little something, something in the next few years, we shall see. But I'm definitely going to cap my investing in this company around 50 to 75 shares until they prove to me that they are worth me actually picking up more stake. So those first 50 to 75 shares could just be a total wash for me it could be disastrous and i could lose like a thousand bucks but hopefully i'm at a point where if i were to lose that it wouldn't matter and that really is the goal with this portfolio because i seriously hate investing into non-profitable companies it makes zero sense to me but i figured i'm young you know i should take a little something something here a little something something there and see what happens and i don't know it pains me a little bit but i'm actually really excited about this and i'll get into it right now because i've been talking too much about how i'm a little bit scared <laughs> so what this company actually does or what it plans to do is to develop and and manufacture electric vehicles and become competition or at least relative to these other kind of stocks and companies. And just due to the overall sentiment of the market in that industry, like clean energy, electric vehicles, fossil fuel, wanting to cut all that out. But there's just a lot of focus in this industry now because we're kind of at the infant stages, the baby stages of maybe possibly making a drastic change to push us towards that kind of a lifestyle in the next 20, 30, 50, whatever years. And you guys, I have to admit that this thing looks like a bike like an enclosed bike and it looks like if you got in an accident you would probably 100 percent die but i do like the overall plan the concept the idea the strategy i can admire it and i just feel like it's a good thing to want to try to pursue and get up and running in this world that we're living in right now to be honest with you and they are trying to introduce some new models which i'll talk about in a second but if they are to be successful and they can introduce new models new price points new aesthetic on the vehicles i think we might be onto something here and this is very infant investing meaning pure spec no financial history no financial judgment nothing to really base what it's worth it's just straight up concept and maybe some baby steps of progress that they've made thus far to piggyback off of what i just mentioned about no financial kind of history to base anything off of there are some non-financial progresses being made from this company they have added six more retail dealerships in california and arizona and they already have it in portland oregon and canada so that's you know a step 
step in the right direction. They have short list their cities for opening assembly facilities. So they are down to Nashville or Phoenix, Arizona. So maybe we'll see that opening up in a few years or something like that. Also up until this point, they weren't doing a ton of branding, but they've really amped up their campaign because they did receive some solo cars from a manufacturer in China that they're using specifically just for like brand promotion and, and marketing reasons. So these are little baby steps that I look at as like, okay, there's a little bit of promise here. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but that's what specs are about, okay? You're investing in a hope of concept and idea, and you're investing in that to work its way out and actually succeed. And the financials aren't like horrendous, although close, not super bad. The CFO actually said, quote, that it has a financial pathway to execute on our immediate and long-term goals. Now that's just, you know, verbiage and it's not really backed by much, but it is good to know that the managers do see it being a possibility that this company is going to be okay and be able to accomplish what it's set out to do. I gotta say though, if they were only selling that solo car, that was the only thing they've really been working on, I'd probably say no, because that thing looks weird. I think that specific vehicle is going to be for a very niche down, is it niche, 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 quiche? Like I almost see it like New York City, like Chicago, like big cities where people don't necessarily wanna ride a bike, but they might ride one of those. Here are the specs of the vehicle and quite honestly, not that impressive. But I do like their concept of the e-roadster and the Tofino, I think, Tofino, Tofino. I don't know. And they were also talking about a Solo Plus, which is like an upgraded sedan version of the Solo. I think that e is kind of dope. It's like super vintage, but 100% electric. I think that's like, that's kind of a move. I kind of feel like that's pretty dope. But of course, these extra concepts and ideas and vehicles are years down the road. I mean, they're not gonna be whipping this up anytime soon. But I do really think with so much focus on these kind of vehicles and these companies and these businesses and where we're going, if it works, it could work really well. Have you guys heard of this? Have you guys looked into it? Are you touching it or are you never touching it? Not even with a 10 foot pole? Have I completely lost my mind? You can go ahead. You can let me know down in the comments below. If you are new here and you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing by hitting NB in the bottom corner or that red subscribe button. Join us, join the crew. I post two videos a week on this channel about money, investing, stocks, finance, real estate, side hustles. I just like making money and having a good ass time. You already know if you're this far in the video, could you smash up the thumbs up? But you already know what to do. And some of y'all really wait for this moment but if you are here, you are the real MVP. Come here, you know I love you. If you guys are interested in seeing my kind of portfolio update slash my dividend payments for this last month, go ahead, click this video right here. And as always, guys, enjoy the journey, whatever your journey is. Always remember to do assess your hearts on fire, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.